Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting bring to episode 18 of season 2 of the Ancient Magnus Rise. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Aww. Basically, I mean, cause you're lonely. Uh oh. <laughs> That's what you get. Well, that's a, like, a good way to leave. Dang. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of things <laughs> Jesus has done in the last couple of weeks. <laughs> oh. Baby. Well, that sounds cool. You sure? <laughs> uh, I mean, well, you know, when you put it that way.
<laughs> it must have been too much for you. And of course the wolf lady and her husband. Over and over. Aw, oh, dang. Not through Christmas. They can't go home still. Oh, my God. I'm thinking today's going to be the day we get a reunion. No. <laughs> that seems like a freaking threat. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> like, we still gonna be here. Aww, it's the, the, yeah, the bracelet from the opening. Did you make one for yourself? Yeah. <laughs> <You're> crazy. <laughs> you take that one to him. You don't see her. Hell, I don't even see her. Oh. Can you give this to her? It just keeps getting worse and worse. 
And I wish they would just let her off and let her go home, but I get it. They want to keep the school and the students protected, but Girlie is, you know, having clearly an issue. Jesus Christ. Uh, I mean, for a moment, like, you ain't gonna rush in and see her like that on the ground. You okay? No, don't eat it! Of course, she's got to make sure nothing's wrong with it. But, I mean, she didn't have to eat it. It was a, you were supposed to. 
supposed to wear it. I'd be hella afraid of her right now. Why don't you scream? Why don't you make some sort of noise? <laughs> there we go. Phil has it. How the fuck you still alive? I mean, yeah, you, it was the book that got taken out of you, but you're like, ma'am. I mean, well, you know, yeah, so. Mm hmm. He's right. Please be careful, that's still your cousin. Ah. Uh. Not during the Christmas party. And none of them hear that. None of them see that. Because they're distracted by fireworks.
Well, I, I think this is gonna stop him now. All out once. Girl, this too freaking much. Oh my god. Like, baby, it was dealing with so much anxiety and so much freaking emotions. Like, her mental health. Oh my god, I can't imagine. But it was eating away at her until she had no ounce of strength left to, like, you know, avoid it. It just was like, pop! And you're like, alright, here we go. Like, oh, but... <laughs> How are you supposed to stop her? I don't want to kill her. I don't want anybody to kill her. But, I mean, we, that's the last, you know, that's the last thing that we have to think about. That's the, that's the trump card if we have no other way of bringing her back to normal. If we have to kill her, then yes, kill her. But I don't want you to kill her because she's so precious at the end of the day. And she, like, I feel like the only one who can save her is Chise. So Chise might have to go into her dreams and such. I don't know how. Because she's not asleep. Well, no. Let me take that back. She maybe kind of is. Mentally, she's asleep. But physically, she's not. So maybe Chise could use that as an opening to go see Firmara and, like, try to talk her out of everything. But see, my thing is Chise can't go alone. Somebody else gotta go with her. Ruth is automatically going to be with her regardless, but it's like, <laughs> I need everybody else to go with her. But Chise can do a lot of things by herself. We have seen that before. But still, what the absolute fuck? I, I, I wasn't expecting this to go this way for this episode, but, um... Yeah, like, I was expecting, you know, everybody to go home, finally, <laughs> to have moments at home with their loved ones, but no, with the fact is that, yes, they're still under watch. I'm not surprised that Phil had the book inside What's Her Face. It, was, it wasn't it was obvious, but we knew the book was somewhat close. That was the thing, especially with a couple episodes ago, that we knew it was still somewhere around the school. And it had to be with either the students, the teachers, someone. And we knew that it had to be somewhere around there. But like, oh God, I don't know what's going to happen now. I just, I want her to be okay. That's all I care about. But I, I mean... The fact is, once again, going into her grandma and her situation, that all her grandma now is trying to do is to get her son back, which is Adam. The way she's doing it, it is highly fucked up. To abuse your godchild, I mean, not even godchild, grandchild, 
to the point that she barely really even remembers what her parents look like because she's put like there there's like a marker a marker type face moment that is covering their faces up that we cannot see them that their identities have been you know concealed so maybe like once we break through for Fiedemata that's when we're possibly going to see the faces of her parents maybe because this is now the second time that they've done this except the first time we only really got to see from the nose on down we didn't get to see the eyes they showed the eyes in this episode but still you couldn't see the whole thing because you know wiped out with marker on their faces but mm, I'm torn. I'm scared and I'm torn. I don't want anything bad to happen to Phil or anybody, but we all know that's coming and I'm truly am never ready for it, just like with so many other series, but this is very nerve wracking. Hopefully everything is smooth sailing. Hopefully. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 18 of season 2 of The Ancient Magnus Bride. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 19. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.